Parties in horror films rarely go smoothly. One minute you're dancing and drinking, having a good time. Next, a gang of cannibalistic killers are eating your flesh. My name is the Nevernoose everywhere on the internet. Let's take a look at five horror film parties that went horribly wrong. Number one, Sally's birthday, Demons 2. It's Sally's 16th birthday party and all her closest friends are here to celebrate. Despite having an aching heart for her ex-boyfriend, the party seems to be going pretty swell. Unfortunately, a demonic force has possessed Sally, and she transforms into a disgusting flesh-eating demon right before she got to eat any of her delicious birthday cake. Sally turns her guests into demons and they go on a rampage through the entire apartment complex. Happy birthday, Sally. Number 2, The Boiler Room, Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. JP Monroe owns one of the most exclusive and coolest clubs in New York City, The Boiler Room, a multi-layered nightclub that includes a dining room, concert hall, and a rave bar. But when the Hell Priest Pinhead is released from his prison, the club really gets pumping. The guests are killed one by one by Pinhead, in a variety of ways. And there's no escape because he's chained the door shut. It's a members only club now, becoming the greatest collab party between hell and earth ever. Number three, Club de la Lune, an American werewolf in Paris. Tourists love this exclusive party spot in Paris. An underground church turned into a nightclub full of strobe lights and the latest electronic music. But beware, if you stay here too long, half the guests will transform into hideous, hungry werewolves. Yep, this is a tourist trap, and a perfect feeding ground for werewolves. And if you try to leave, they block the door on you. Have fun! Number 4, House Party, Scream. There's a killer on the loose in Woodsboro. What a perfect time to have a house party. Booze, babes, and blood. We got it all right here, folks. Oh right, there is a killer on the loose and oh, oh there he is. Hey, oh no, people are dying and the killer's among us. Who would have guessed? Great party though. Number five, the cornfield rave, Freddy vs. Jason. Wow, a party in the cornfield. Beer kegs, underage sex, and weed smokers? It would be incredibly unfortunate if Jason Voorhees showed up. Oh, there he is, and he's on fire. And now he's killing everybody. Oh, he's, yep, yeah, he, he's killing every, oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. In all honesty, this feels like a great party for Jason, though. He looks like he's having fun. 10 out of 10, would host again. Well, there it is, folks. My first list on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Do you know any more horror film parties that ended terribly? Let me know in the comments below. Have a gruesomely awesome day.